Okay, we have here another integral from MIT 2025, problem 16. We have the integral sine 4x, cosine of x, let's get rid of that, cosine of x over cosine 2x, sine x, dx. Yeah, it's pretty important that's not a cosine 2x, but then we cancel it out and we go straight to the Dirichlet kernel or straight to whatever we do there. Anyway, to get started with it, I think really what I wanna do so the trouble with trig integrals is you want everything to have the same angle usually. And we've got single x, 2x, 4x. What if I reduce this one? Because sine is usually, I find sine kind of easier to work with. So for sine 4x, I can write it as sine times 2, 2x. That way I can use the double angle formula where this is going to be our input and write this as 2 sine 2x cos 2x but then i can use the double angle formula again on this doing that and rewriting it we have two this thing is going to become two sine x cos x times cosine 2x but then multiplying that together we're going to get a four and then let's put it back into the integral and see what we've got left to do so rewrite we got the four in front Let's take the 4 out front of the integral here. Then all the rest of it in the numerator. So we have sine x, cos x, cos 2x. And now we get the cancellation I wanted to do in the beginning because we're going to have cosine 2x, cosine 2x. And then we also have this. So go ahead, cancel here and here. Cancel here and here. And... <laughs> oh. And I forgot this cosine x here, sorry about that. So we have another cosine x right there. But when I multiply those together, this is gonna be, what we're left with is cosine squared x. And so what I can do is reduce that. The formula to reduce that is gonna be one half, which I'll bring out front, and then this transforms to one plus cosine two x. So we'll go ahead and integrate, but first this becomes a two. Integrate this, we get x. Integrate this, we get sine 2x. Bring out the 2, and I was going to say evaluate it, but there's nothing to evaluate. So actually, let me just put the 2, let's, let's distribute that back in. And so for my final solution is we get 2x plus sine 2x, add a plus c, and that's it. If you like, you could use the double angle formula again on this. Although, from the original problem, it's not. it doesn't really help anything. But if you did it, you'd have another two. We could kind of factor the twos out and write it as x plus sine x, cos x, add a plus c, and that's it. Okay, quick problem from MIT 2025. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.